down smash, whatever, I can just wait. If I eat a gyro hit, I eat a gyro hit, yeah. but at least I'm not losing that stock. But, gamers, we are approaching the potential final set to two final sets of the evening. Numbers going up against Jewel. I thought this was a button check, but... <laughs> They're going right into it. Good, love to see it. Metro already paid out, or oh, filled out for these players too, so they're going to be making some good bank today. Let's see who wins this. Like, the guy who we haven't seen in a whole year, and John, who's made his presence known here and there, quit after like a certain moment of Wi-Fi because they had enough of it, but at least kept up their practice. Like, John has yep. been hungry. Like, we, we've seen them ask like players like, hey, you all, all want to come over to my house and play some sessions real quick? Don't be afraid to hit up John, by the way. He's looking for people to play like, mm -hmm. constantly. A very hungry player, just, just patiently waiting for offline to come back. Both of these guys have made it here to Grand Finals, show off their stuff, <gasps> and show off like, oh why they're still as good at the game is as they are. Is going to be able to make that back? No, he is not. Numbers are just ready to cover that. Jewel was... Jewel made a really good oh. attempt. But again, Jewel just going off stage, challenging Numbers in his home territory, the ledge, off stage. Ooh, very good stuff there from both of these players as they're showing how much they won this W today is it's, it's a lot of money on the line for the first local back to say they can show you guys what they've been like waiting to, s to show you yep. for the whole year. Oh, so so Jewel won the last Xeno in person, I assume. Mm -hmm. the, so this this is actually a good. It's like he never left. <laughs> yeah. It's been a whole year. It's insane. Jewel almost able to find that Thunder uh, new trilogy follow-up. I love the attempt, but uh, just so close to not being able to get it. <laughs> Imagine riding that high from winning the last Z the last in-person Xeno to, to now, seeing Jewel play today. That is very impressive. You can just write books on the stuff. It's, it's insane. How is Jewel this good? Anyways, guys, Jewel <laughs> with a 2 to 1 stock lead. He just keeps on finding these spikes, keeps on finding these edge guards on numbers, which again is no easy feat for anybody that knows the way that he plays. Ooh, you gotta respect just how much Oof. damage Sun Salutation does. Is just gonna be able to eat through that projectile. Good uh, little check there from numbers, going for the charge and then just simply canceling and going for the grab there against. Nice spot here, but not getting the kills Ooh. is very key. Well, as, as is not going to get yeah. it when you don't have deep breathing on deck. <gasps> Tech's hit beautifully, Ooh. but now is in a corner against Jewel. Sets up that Tech chase, tries to get it with Arc Fire, but nice is still damage. ready to cover that Tech roll in. John didn't want, didn't want to Tech roll out because uh, that would have put him into the corner. He tech, he tried to go in, and you know what? Jewel's option mm. coverage, just so on point. Very, very on point. As they're showing their lead right now, that's nice, nice jump to... Just avoid getting shot out wow. and the catch and the roll. Good stuff. Oh no, they missed the put it. Yeah, Joel like, tried to go yeah. for the second house out of there. Is not gonna be able to connect for now. Has a 94% lead. Oh no kill. Good SDI and John falls out of it. Good stuff. Numbers getting hit by these knowledge checks here from Jewel. Ready to answer them offline too. There is a timeline where John just does unspeakable amounts of damage <laughs> and, and, and finds this game. It happens. It happens. That's already 60%, it's, 74 it's rounds of the board. It's happening. Numbers is just ledge trapping and keeping Jewel stuck in a corner. He's not able to fight his way back on. Tries oh, to go for the jab mix ups. Here. And yeah, landing with Nosferatu like that is such a good reset. They're both getting their charge on right now, so it's like first to shoot. Oh, the numbers trying to run in for some aggressive. Oh action. my. <gasps> Tries to wait out a defensive option, but Jewel just patiently drifts away, understanding that Numbers can't press a button quite yet. Oh, the shot! Uh, from the sword. Oh. Numbers also, like, ducking there just to avoid the throw on too. Why were we rolling in? Numbies. Numbers. 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 What are you doing? I understand that pressing shield in that position feels good. It's We Fit Golf from Ledge. It's one of the funniest rolls from Ledge in the game. That's John. That is John Golf from Ledge numbies. <laughs> okay? You're doing a little too much numbers. You do too much. But when Robin is occupying that position, and, and, and you know, and there are a couple of options from the ledge that you can punish to on reaction very consistently. Roll is one of them. Jules chilling. Very. They only need to win simply four games today just to, just to win the Xeno. First yep. Xeno back. I swear he was probably secretly training somewhere, like in the mountains. 
<laughs> with a switch. <laughs> so, somehow, just, just to elbows. keep up this consistent tech skill and and like game knowledge, like they they, they must have been playing. Not Wi-Fi. I don't think they were playing on Wi-Fi. They were. God bless them. <laughs> they were both just shooting at each other. <laughs> I think this is really funny. They're just they're just going out there with the, with their own projectiles, feeling them at one another, seeing you know what sticks and what doesn't. Nice shot with the arc fires to get that nice angle in for a little quick damage. Jewel is keeping up with numbers and showing showing them their hand right now. Who gets that jab? Ooh, Number is getting the back hit of uh. The, yeah, jab one. Yep. Oh. We fit hitboxes are funny because they <laughs> because she inexplicably has one on the complete opposite side of who <gasps> almost finds that kind of flame. That was so close. Yeah. Really unorthodox stuff, and John knows where to place him. That's where the ingrams. I, I like the idea to go for the mix-up thing, but John was a little bit too high up, um, so Jewel had plenty of time to be able to react and uh, and punish. So we just throwing the fire there. So it's a nice little reaction test from Jewel. It's a fine Goop. check. Yeah. When when Alec Fly is sitting on your shield, you force the opponent into picking some sort of a defensive option. They either have to sit in shield or they have to roll away. Anything else, and they'll end up getting hit by that Alec Fly. So. That was Quite an odd interaction. His numbers just get sent flying. God damn. Wow. Good stuff there from Jewel. Who tried to cover like uh, early dodging, maybe like towards center stage. Not able to find it, but I do like the idea of going for coverage that it's, you know. It's fine. Whatever works, works. Jewel doing a good job being patient over here, charging when they can. Avoiding all numbers shots right now. Yep, just shielding every single one of them, just not having any of it. And he has been consistently calling numbers for all these projectile pulls, all these attempts to go through header at the ledge. He keeps on dealing all this damage. And I gotta say, the ledge is not looking too favorable for the numbers, but he does find that opening. And numbers, like, ledge is home. So, ledge is if fair. they can fight from there, they can. It's a good number to, to get this good positioning off of it. Block on the header, good stuff. Jewel's also very on point with their parries, by the way. I, I, I don't see this man missing a parry, like, not once for the majority of the day. It's insane how how, he's just, how well trained they are. He's just reactions. that constant in them. He times Great. it so well. Ooh. Throw them all. <laughs> I need his book real quick. The, the way that Jewel plays sometimes is really funny. I feel like as a player, he sometimes goes out like five or six Thunders and L Thunders in like immediate succession. Does the same thing with other players. It's like, yeah, I want to see what you'll do. I want to see if you can pass this and do against test a little bit. Yeah, that one time that Jewel missed the charger and the, and the parry, I guess, numbers gets the stock off. But this is a really good positioning for Jewel as one good clean sword hit or anything from Jewel to take the stock off. Ruben Numbers is going to be forcing Jewel into a tech chase. And now that is Robin off stage against a Weefit. Numbers going to go for it all. And Jewel eventually finds his way back on. But at what cost? Look how much percent he's already taken. Yeah, numbers going a little too aggressive there. And getting great forward aired for it. Oh. Yeah, good catch. Numbers had established that he wasn't going through a lot of landings. He kept on trying to jump out of the corner to retreat to the legend. Jewel just faced around that and found that kill. This could be Jules' day today, as they're playing super well right now. Numbers had not had a nice little break as Jules just kept warm from playing losers. So now, wow, look how comfortable he is playing with his tongue too. <laughs> Jules still has it. Yeah, doesn't does not mind burning it all just to get that book out just for an extra quick little bit of full screen pressure. Mm -hmm. Numbers has to find an answer quick. He has to build some form of. Numbers is, doesn't the... have an answer to any of these uh, Thunders and L Thunders. Jewel just keeps on consistently putting them out there. It's catching his dash -ins. It's eating up his own Sun Salutation. Numbers is getting kind of shut down by them. Yeah, this is a wow. prime example of how Numbers lose this game, I feel. as When Numbers doesn't get their game plan to work, they, they probably freeze on like what they could do. Oh, until, that's like, going to be goal for the ledge. Like 36 percent and climbing. That is Jewel stuck in the corner, but is able to catch numbers in the start of animation. Every sometimes the numbers can come back like this when they get like, a clean hit from Sun Salutation. They get a start, but Jewel doing an awesome job of keeping numbers away. Rolls into it that time, Ooh. not positioned to be able to cover the goal from ledge. Uh, I believe we could just kind of low profile that Oak fire. 
Neutral got up, jumps back to the ledge. Why? Oh, the stuns. Oh, the chase, though. Numbers using all the... Absolutely fearless, but Jewel <gasps> aggressively coming back. Numbers. No confirm. Going deep. Like numbers he makes escapes. How? How? And they get the stock off. Numbers. How? We have to give that some breathing room. We just have to let that speak for itself. How does Wefa do, do that? This was all Jules' game right there. All the time in the world to go out there and just hit numbers. And just How did numbers make this back? back? Oh, they missed that so bad. That was the cider. And, and Jewel was just caught in all that landing die. lag. That's just a lot of lag. If I'd be, if I'm Jewel, I'd be kind of kicking myself over that because that was my edge guard. That, that was, was my game. I had no idea that Weefit could actually go that deep. So, thanks, John, for you know giving us another reason to have strong opinions about Weefit. Very strong opinion. One of the best Weefits in the world, showing you why this character is crazy. Oh man, already linking those up tilts as 55, 68 onto the board and just continuously putting Jewel in disadvantage. Ooh. Going through the mix up like that just encourages you to sit in shield. Um, he was able to make him sit in shield and found that grab as a result. I like the way numbers like react to certain things for grabs. So they, they start charging, they immediately cancel just to go for whatever. Yep. It's really good stuff to see from numbers. Jewel needs Quite to get something seven. done quick. Oh, using the arc fire as a sword of opening for him to be able to approach. We're just able to lock numbers into shield. And as a result, he is able to get some stuff started, but you always need to keep header in mind. Oh, nice dodge. Trying to build pressure off that arc fire. Jewel taking their turn back here. Making numbers get from the ledge. Good patience there from Numbers to avoid that arc fire and everything. He waited for the jump. He knew that if Jewel surely hopped in that position, there was no way that he could in time cover the goal for him much. Yeah, very good patience. Not so much here as Numbers is now off stage against his character. Yeah. Super meaty enough to cover whatever John was going to come back and hit him. Jewel a, taking that first stop. That was a lot of hitboxes that just happened. Probably extended through the, the volleyball, but yes. Yeah, Numbers is going to have to take the stock as soon as possible because Jewel with a little bit of rage, he can kill you off stage with four leaders and neutralers, and all of a sudden, you, you could even be dead, so. Yeah, they have plenty of spells to use just to keep this nice positioning and some quick damage in. They're up stock. There's no need for them to approach, too. Just simply stand here and shoot Numbers. Jewel just once again playing so patiently. <gasps> Finds that falling up into another up I don't know what it is about ultimate and all the flame advantage that falling up gives you, but it is a lot. Numbers struggling to get back onto the stage. Look at this oh. option coverage from Jewel once again. The, the Z oh, drop sword. Nice. Wow. That's going to kill. Good stuff there from Jewel taking the stock. This lead is looking quite strong, but I can't count numbers out. You can never count numbers never. out, no, because he can take a stock and he can take a stock whenever he wants to. You can take a stock if you if he throws you off stage and he gets one spike on you. That's the way he plays. The numbers can turn it up when they can. Like right around here. If they get this one clean hit off of Sun Salutation, that's when they start the game fight. Here it is. Wow. I, I like that Sun Salutation because even if it didn't connect, numbers would have healed a little bit, but you know what it did? And and to me, as we fit, that's that's the extra credit. He's not getting JV2 stock. <laughs> A good covers there from Jewel just to stop that approaching, that Nair. It's like spell the Nair. Don't run in. The actual alien dodge is in so scary. Immediately oh. retreats to the ledge with really crisp movement. So efficient. Able to get... Oh, boy. Oh, oh buddy. It, it's starting. Oh, the Jewel game. Numbers. Jumping into these shots. Not looking good. Jewel had the right idea, but um, Numbers was just able to barely space away from that four leader. How do you how do you get back on against Robin like this? Jewel just keeps on catching all of his jumps. And the four there just scoops you right back off the stage. What a good setup here from Jewel to take the stock is enough for this reset that happens. Down smash is coming. And there, Levin Sword. God bless you. Let's try and deal with this. <laughs> Now, a single arc fire in sight, though, just to keep that pressure from the ledge going. Numbers comes right back on. It's a couple hits in. 
Remember, he's just taking the opportunity to heal and get deep bleeding on deck. Once again, Hedda not going to be able to find it. It's target, but that Sun Salutation is going to be able to take that stock. And now, is it time? This is a numbers dub. About to find out Jewel. Still has to take this last stock. It's not going to be easy. Numbers is not going to make it easy for you. I like the fact that he retreated with the header. He didn't want to risk getting hit by Arc Fire at all. They're both just sort of swinging and shooting their own respective projectiles. Such a scary position to be in, but John is so confident in his own spacing. Yeah, whatever John's doing can be stopped oh, by man. Like oh, buddy. simply canceling the charge. With John's jumping, it's more risky. <gasps> oh, the no files it. That was so smart. That was so Super smart. smart. And we really didn't see numbers exploit that at all today. Forgetter is not going to be able to do it quite Crazy yet. Crazy how that didn't kill. One more button should do it, but numbers now has a sword in hand. Does he know what to do with it? Oh! That's the opening. Numbers test stage again. Oh my god. So scary, so scary. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. The reaction test. Oh, the uh. back air! Gets 11 to just in time for the stock. Uh. Jewel resets okay. the bracket. Okay. Now we in dead ass finals. True finals. Grand finals 2. A full reset, two out of three. Who's gonna take the Zeno today? I, I don't know. I can't, I can't, I can't call. I needed a breath after that because that was, <laughs> listen, whatever, whatever John like starts getting momentum, I'm like, oh, I'm holding my breath. When he's about to make a comeback, I'm like, hmm, entry sync. That's a oh. grand finals player right there. Making, making any game that looks like super free look that close. Because this jewel was up three stocks. At some point in that last game, and look how close it was. Already 32% onto the board. Numbers dashing back and forth. Able to get that B. Wow, because usually in that kind of a position, he jumps. Jewel tries to catch those. So he was able to dash back and found that with punish. Beautiful stuff. Very beautiful. Both just trading hits back and forth here. Numbers. Nice percentage lead. I think they're realizing how, how well they were slowing down the pace of that game last, like... Last time I'm building the lead off of that. Uh. Doing a really good job of like holding the stock right now. Even in like a bad spot like this where Robin is like controlling the ledge from you. Numbers still fighting back, finding the gaps in and just shooting him. Getting way more of a nice, nicer percentage lead here. Oh, the sun nearly clipped your head. That would have been your stock. Very good parry there from Numbers avoiding that. Ooh, I'm really surprised that up here didn't connect, but no matter, Numbers does find that F-Tilt is going to be able to close out that stock. And now, um, that's going to be Jewel playing from the back foot. John, exactly where he wants to be, gets header into Sun Salutation, another header, and just keeps on that pressure, keeps chasing Jewel down, but somehow... Huh? The butt? The butt? <laughs> she like, this ass? Like, how did she block that? <laughs> Oh, wow. wow. Good chase there from Jewel. Tying up the stocks. <sighs> nice anti-air from John. Look at all the damage they built off of that one anti-air. Jewel is full hopping in place. That's so good for Goblin because she has so much mix. Mm. You can land with Nosferatu. You can land with an aerial and still have it be pretty safe on shield. Um, when, it, when a goblin is like full hopping around you, that is just a dangerous place to be in, and, and Jewel is taking full advantage of it. Very. Both players no slouch here. Like, a lead is nothing to either one of them, as as seeing right here as the percentage is being brought right back with that Nosferatu. I like that choice. To go for the Nosferatu over another hit, Jewel knew that, hey, I can't kill here no matter what. I might as well not only do damage, but also heal myself up a little bit as well. So. Yeah, going to show that no, that no move is useless in this game. Right. Very scary stuff for Numbers to come back from. This is a different spot looking Ooh. compared to stock one where Numbers was like up. Simply edge guarding with the tools that they have at hand. Jewel is now up a stock here. Numbers has, has to take this one. But if I'm Jewel right now, I have no incentive to approach. No, I can no. just chill. You can get deep bleeding, you can do what you want, but as long as he's continuously putting projectiles out there to keep himself, like, basically build himself a shield, I think it can be pretty difficult for the numbers to find that opening on Jewel. Oh, jeez. What a shot. No kill. Yeah, if played perfectly, Robin can, like, set up the perfect wall. It just, it's just a matter of human reaction to see if, like, numbers can break through that wall and run right in and get that kill. 
able to find that first foil leader, but a little bit too much knockback. Does not find that follow up into neutral is quite yet. That oh. is oh my. <gasps> Jewel. He's pushing in with these thunders, getting all this damage. Jewel. Yeah, that's a good idea. We're trying to go through jab there, but you always have to keep in mind oh, just how slow Arc Fire is. He didn't have enough time to be able to connect that jab, and Numbers was able to shield in time. Oh, didn't get the right positioning of that Arc Fire. Try to probably catch Numbers jumping, though. So it's not a bad thing to go for, is they didn't get punished for it. It's really good positioning here for, for Jewel. Knocks Numbers off the stage. Great tracking. Was able to punish the Golf Grim Ledge that time around. But Ledge is not your friend. Numbers, get away! Wow. Oh! Oh, this is the choice. You had to stay there. And and that one's the commitment. Yeah. That one is like, I know this arc fire connects, and you need to keep in mind just how slow that move is. Sure. That there is a choice when a robin makes. It's do I press arc fire again, or do I think you're gonna get hit by it, and then that's when I get close to you to try to kill you. That time, Jewel was so confident in that arc fire actually connecting to John, he didn't waste any time throwing out another one. He didn't waste time throwing out projectiles. He was just like, hey. I'm gonna get this kill, and you know what? He did. It worked. It worked. It's a good spot to throw arc fire from too. As slow as you mentioned before, it's not so. It's not so like so much of a bad thing yep. when you're catching someone recovering, as they have no choice but to take it. If they're in that spot, they're going low. They have to take it. They're going low. Nobody doesn't have that many timing mix-ups left. The only difference he has is I can either go really low or I can go low, uh, especially if you don't have like a double jump available to you. There's only so much delay you can do before you have to come back and not die at He just waits for it. Look at, look at how Jewel is just punishing these goals for much. He's just like, I don't care oh. anymore. Uh. No anti-air confirmed there for numbers. He's shedding back to numbers neutral here. As he, most neutrals play like from mid-stage. You see like people fighting on stage. Numbers plays like <laughs> back to neutral from like he, him being off stage. He just shifts it all to one side. Yeah, yeah no, <laughs> numbers has his own form of neutral. He uh, has his own funny little planking flow charts in his head. Um, it works that, for him. It works. it works for him, yeah. But when you have a character like Robin, who's able to throw out arc fire, who's able to keep himself safe uh, with a lot of you know spells and tomes, you really need to adjust a lot of your flow chart. I don't toss into grab. I don't know if that's a real thing, but Jewel tried to go for that real quick, just for a little combo. Might be really impressive if it worked. Who now backs up numbers into the corner once again. Now he has to find a way to be able to get back on against Sugabin at the ledge, which is no easy task. Jewel is just trying to occupy that goal distance, trying to really discourage numbers from going there at all. Numbers can't find that way back in, and you know what? He's kind of chilling. Very hard to find the gap here against Jewel. Jewel has so much space and tools just to play the game they want to play and take the stock if they want to. Jewel. That would have been a sick confirmed game on the work. Jewel. Oh. oh my god, no! Oh, they didn't come back. It's okay, homie stock. <laughs> Numbers, don't do it back. That, okay, I will, <laughs> like, say, what are you doing? I will say that stock was just played so well by Jewel. He was he didn't get hit by a single projectile. Oh, geez, that he was able bad. to block every single one. He was able to get Numbers off stage and found that kill. That was so well played, it was tragic that he wasn't able to make it back on. Still not bad. Two stocks apiece for both sides. Look. He's opening up Numbers at the ledge. He's figuring him out. And Numbers, that's the one time he found that header from ledge. But I've never really seen people be able to figure out Numbers just that much. <gasps> Numbers trying to go for that a charge cancel grab setup, but he's in the wrong side. He's facing the wrong way. Yeah, but now Jewel is selecting his Good defensive pair. options a little bit early. He's pressing oh, those goals wow. sooner, those spot dodges. He's able to get past those. Numbers missing here. Their attempts at aggression. This is free punish, free punish. I like how we both winced at the same time. We're like, yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> that would have been dead if that was like a, like a real thing John was reading there. The salute the sun. Yeah, getting a little bit too greedy there. Jewel tried to that get himself. Well, no, he was stuck in the animation of Sybe. Uh. Jewel tried to get a little bit greedy and give himself coverage. Uh, maybe like as a shield so that numbers couldn't throw out Sun Salutation or Heru. Mm. If, if there's like an active arc fire there, but it never happened that way. Right, both getting their charges on. Great Ooh, call out on that jump. jump. And such a confident call out, too. It's a good spot to throw fire. Hard for numbers to come back from. Is this a confirmed kill? Oh, I know. Oh! Imagine that. Imagine if that all wow. worked. That was. It did work. 
because he was able yeah, to get out there kill. and he was able to foil that long recovery and threaten John at the end of the day. And now this is Jewel, one stock away from being able to make the full bracket reset and win this set. Back to back doves from a year apart. Jewel is looking to take this tournament today. So scary. It's like he never left. But John has been building this lead up this whole stock. It's just. Oh! Oh no. Jewel going to be slightly misspacing that arc fire, not able to get it at the ledge. Now Boogs finally fights his way back on. They're, both, they're playing mad patient. Super patient, super patient. Numbers getting the charges off again. The fires are being covered on the ledge. Jewel is taking this as patiently as possible as they need to. Look at this platform movement as well. Jewel is now throwing out all the tricks, making himself oh. as ambiguous to hit as possible. <gasps> Numbers! Almost got the hit from the... <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh, I can't there's, call just, it. there's just a lot of things happening at once. I love how we both oh, gasp no! at the same time. Oh. Mischarge. Numbers with the reaction test from full screen. Taking that last dog. Just, oh, I had a sun waiting for, waiting for you. Here it comes. <laughs> this, this, this set is still joining. <laughs> And it's it's going to last game too. Like oh, I don't I don't know what to say. It's going to it's going to Pokemon Stadium two again. No one's switching counter picks or whatever. Okay. It's gonna be able to see that by the way. Game six. Game six between the two. I'm glad we got a good music choice this time around. <laughs> I am I am actually so unbelievably thankful. Probably went to, went to sleep with sleep like that one road music. <laughs> John needs to find an answer to Jewel at the ledge because when Jewel is ledge trapping John. I mean, he is occupying this roll distance in such a good way. He knows when to throw out other fighters, he's making himself so ambiguous. That shield is non-existent. Okay. All right, Jewel. <laughs> now he spot dodges it, makes sure his shield doesn't get broken or anything. He's like, like, oh no, you're not going to hit me with that. <laughs> Jewel is catching every commitment from John at the ledge. He's catching every jump, and he's catching every single roll in. His ledge trapping is... is... I mean, there is so much to take home from this. And John is patient though. Like, if they get one sal salutation in, one sun, they can get their plan started here. They can get a hit in. Uh, John's patient, but look how patient Jewel is as well. Jewel's even more patient. He's though. sitting at goal distance. He knows that he doesn't have anything to worry about. Charge gets both sides just to keep it ambiguous. Both players are doing a, a good job of not committing too much to anything, but this is looking mm -hmm. in Jules' favor as they, they got the lead very early on in this, in this first stop here. God. Oh, finally gonna be Full a bit sun. of damage for John. Dark Series not have to go in with it though. Jules getting a little bit aggressive here, pushing John off the stage. That's John's first hit from the ledge this game so far, but not able to get a big follow-up off of it. Usually it's going to be like a fast fall in the neutral so that you can land and then follow up off of it. When it's rising like that, sometimes it's a little oh, bit difficult to find that next hit. That was good micro walking there from Jewel just to escape John's attempt at a, an aggressive approach right there. He just simply walked away from numbers as they dashed right in. Oh, back here. Yeah, number is going to be successfully crossing oh. up Jewel. That is Jewel off stage with no Stop double it. jump. This should be the stock, but Jewel is still able to make it back on. Hard fire. Bug. This is a very patient game right here. Compared to all the games from before, not seeing a stock go off in like a minute or two is, is very impressive for these, both, these two players. At, at mid range, I feel like Jewel keeps on pulling these projectiles when he, when when John keeps going through Sun Salutation. That fully charged Sun Salutation is strong enough to go past all of Jewel's projectiles. He needs to sit in shield. He needs to jump. He needs to wait because he has been consistently getting called out for it in the same place. It's how he lost the last game. Somebody just making it as safe as possible and getting this back air for this kill. Nice aggressive answer from that block to uh, Sun Salutation too. Finding right, that Oak Fire at the ledge once again. Tries to go for an up B spike, is not going to be able to find it. But now that is John having to find a way to get back onto the stage. Oh no. That's a safe that button. It's getting covered. Don't jump. You gotta, you just gotta respect back the on your shield. And granted, it is a bit of a mix-up scenario, right? We don't know if they're gonna shield, if they're gonna press another button, but <laughs> down and out of shield, that feels a little bit niche. Plus on block, aerial smash attacks. Conceptually, one of like the most broken things that 
It's not Dude, plus on block. It's not plus. It's just really safe. Really safe. <laughs> Is it the same thing? No, no, because it's still going to be a little bit negative. Uh, it's 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 still like minus three, minus two. Uh, but it feels uh, plus. That's why I say it's plus. Oh yeah, it's just it's just really really safe. Yeah. But it, very few moves in this game are actually plus on block. Yeah. Me Gunny has a has a projectile that does that. Fun oh, fact. Oh okay. Um, but yeah. Good cool. shot there from John. John. No double jump. But goes for the high recovery. Oh, that's a kill. Nice little confirm there from numbers. That was just good tracking. He kept an eye out for where Jewel is going to be. Jewel, I like the attempt to make oh, himself there. ambiguous, but Numbers was ready for it. <gasps> oh, again? Good Beautiful tech from Numbers. Tech. Really good feeling wow. to be all fun to see techs like that, that like, happen all day. The tracking and snipes from Jewel is so good right now. <gasps> ah, the, the forward air catching the jump. This and is a very close game. Last stock, last game. Last Who's stock, last it? game of Game Six Grand Finals bracket reset. This is this is just a lot happening. And again, Numbers keeps on defaulting to going back to the ledge. Jewel forcing those low recoveries by the way that Go. he's threatening with his jumps. Good blocks. Good blocks. Numbers trying to anti with that up tilt. Not successfully, though. How is oh, such a good way to stuff out Arcfire because it makes it actually activate a little bit sooner. It lets him still neutral get up at that range. But now Jewel going He's through. quick thunders, forcing jump. He's forcing jump. That's what he's doing with these, for these thunders. He's forcing jump. Is he going to be able to punish and capitalize on that? Oh! Oh! What? Did John jump into it? I got I to look at that again. Let's go take a look. Hit it. Hit that replay, Dev. Hold on. Hold on. How did John die here? Okay. So, is he going up? Why did he get hit by this F smash? I think it was down smash. Oh, yeah, it was first smash. Boom. What? Your what head. is John pressing here? Is John pressing something? What are you doing, John? There was Could just attack so there. Could attack there. There was a lot of fire. There was a lot of explosions happening. I'm just, like, confused. Like, what got... John in this situation in the first place because you shouldn't normally be going up like that. No. Did he jump? Did he press header? It looked like jump was clipped or two frame. One of the two. That's or was he thing. SDIing up is the question. <sighs> How did it happen? I didn't do header, by the way. I just double jumped. You just double oh, you jumped? jumped? Okay, okay cool. I was about to, I was about to ask like what happened there. Double jump from Mike for the It probably buffered like crazy right there. Yeah, but then, but then, uh, why did? Hmm. Yeah, it probably buffered like crazy because he got the first jump and then the second jump came like right after, like right here. Yeah. Woo. And tried to double jump, but <sighs> oh. had too much drift to the side. Stuff. And that's the tournament. Jewel a year later comes back and wins the first offline Dino. Insane! Like you. He didn't it's play miracles. Wi -Fi. He, he didn't was, play. I I have not seen showing. him. He's been drawing because he's been showing like his, his amazing art on Twitter. You should follow him on Twitter for that. And I'm happy to see Jewel succeed.